So I had a business trip uh, this week and had to fly out to Vermont and fly back. It was just an overnight trip. And when we were coming home on Thursday, the weather, there was storms up and down the East Coast. And so we were afraid that um, our flight was going to get delayed. It was going to get canceled some for some reason because of, because of that storm. Um, but ended up, we got on the plane, but we noticed it was taking longer than it was supposed to. And finally, the, the pilot came over the loudspeaker and told us that we had been diverted to Pennsylvania. And from there, they would decide if we would make our way into D.C. because the airport had been shut down because of these terrible storms. So we diverted to Harrisonburg and eventually we're allowed to uh, take off and land again, even though the airport remained closed uh, because we were had been uh, in transit and we were had been diverted. They allowed us to go on into D.C. And this reminded me of our life because so many times we are like those pilots. We want to avoid the storms in our lives because we don't like pain. We don't like suffering. We don't like the risk involved. Uh, we're afraid that uh, on our own we're not going to be able to make it. Something bad's going to happen uh, or result because of going into that storm. But we need to remember that God is with us in the midst of that storm. And if we keep trying to avoid those storms, divert our path and not go through them and, and change change our path so we don't have to face those storms, we could ever grow on him and we'll never truly see Jesus Christ as the master of the storms in our lives. That he's the one that can speak into any situation and cry, peace be still, and that storm has to settle. So today I challenge you, if you see a storm on the horizon, if you see a storm that's beginning around your life, don't run from it, don't shy from it, but just stand firm knowing that you serve a God who is with you in the midst of the storm. God bless you and uh, take care.